Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be talking about cost and schedule performance index and we're going to be working through an example problem to hit home these core concepts. And so in this scenario we are a project manager and our project is expected to last 100 days. We've been given a budget of $1,000 for this project and so far we're at day 50 and we've spent 700 bucks with 60% of the work completed. And so our goal here is to be able to go to management and tell them what is the cost variance, cost performance index, commonly this will be abbreviated as CPI, and the schedule performance index, and that's denoted as SPI. And so the first thing that we're going to do is introduce a term that uh, many project managers use, which is called AC or actual cost. Actual cost is how much money we've already spent. And in this case, our actual cost is equal to 700 bucks, as we saw in the problem statement. Next, we're going to be looking at a term that we call earned value, or EV. Earned value is the percentage of uh, work that we've completed times the budget at completion. And so in this case, budget at completion is equivalent to $1,000 because that's basically what management is saying this project is worth. So if we did 60% of the work on a project that was worth 1000 bucks, that tells us that we're going to have 0 0.6 times... $1,000, I'll try to write clearly, and this is equivalent to $600. So basically we've earned the company $600 in value thus far in our project. And next what we have here is another term that we're going to be using in our calculations that is going to be called planned value. Planned value will be equivalent to the uh, percentage that can that should be completed per the schedule times the budget at completion. And so in this case, because we're at day 50 and we know that our project was supposed to last 100 days, that means that we should be at least 50% of the way done with this project. And then we're going to be multiplying this figure by the budget at completion, that $1,000. And this will tell us that according to our schedule, if we assumed a linear schedule in this project, we should have created at least $500 in value for this project. So now we're going to focus in on the term called cost variance. And cost variance, I will denote as CV. CV is equal to the earned value minus the actual cost. So in our case, we've earned our company $600 in value by doing this project thus far, and we've spent $700 in their money doing that. Therefore, our cost variance is minus $100. So this is another way of saying that uh, we are $100 behind schedule from where we should be based on how much money we've made them. The next term we're going to be looking at is something that's called our cost performance index, or CPI. CPI is equal to the earned value divided by the actual cost. And so in that case, we're going to have EV divided by AC, and this is equal to 600 divided by 700, and this is equal to 86%. And so what that's telling us uh, in, this, in a decimal format is 0 0.86. Because this is less than one, this means that the money is not being spent as effectively as what uh, we've been budgeted for. So for each dollar uh, that we were supposed to be getting out of a project, we're getting slightly less than that. Um, and so that's what it's telling us. You can also have a CPI that's greater than one, and in those cases, that's when it means that, you know, for every one dollar in paint that you've spent to paint a room, you're actually able to get more than one dollar of value out of painting that room um, in that scenario. We're also going to be looking at our schedule performance index, and our schedule performance index, SPI, is equivalent to the earned value divided by the planned value of this project. And in that case, what we have here is our earned value is equivalent to $600, and we're going to be dividing this term by the planned value, which is 500, and in this case, this is equal to 120%, which is also equivalent to 1.20. And so what this means, what our schedule performance index is telling us, because it's greater than one, means that we're ahead of schedule. So we are, in this scenario, ahead of schedule, but behind schedule in terms of how effective our dollars are being spent. So um, that is what these key terms are coming out of this uh, scenario that we would be reporting to management in order to convey the progress 
and performance of our project. And I hope this video is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you all for watching and take care.